Okay, so this is a requested video um, on how to use laser movie effects or something like that. Okay, so here I am in uh, Saber Movie Effects, and um, so he how I got here, I pretty much opened up the app, and then pressed the star in the upper left corner, chose Import. So Import is awesome, because then here you go, here's all your videos from your camera roll. I don't have that many because my phone um, only has a bit of space, and uh, you can see this egg yolk show here, UIS Studios, and then couple other projects I'm working on. So, uh, sneak peek through my uh, camera roll of videos. Ignore some of these up here, because these are from earlier this summer. But, um, yeah. We're going to be choosing this bottom video I made like a few seconds ago, uh, specifically for this tutorial. So, uh, you guys already saw the finished product, but here I'm going to be showing you guys how to make that um, and make it turn out that way, and, um, uh, uh, so some people on Instagram are unpopular, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, so, we've got, you want to try to have a cue in your video when you're recording it. You want to know how or when you're going to want to start your effects. So, say, this was my cue. So, you're going to want to take your thing, and then you can use two fingers to resize it. Ooh, floating around. And then uh, you can tap this uh, line with the green arrow down there in the corner to shorten it. I just posted a picture on Instagram uh, about making this video, so that's why I'm getting so many likes here. So we get that. And then to add that into your frame, uh, you press the uh, adding sign. And then that is um, also going to be added to the other hand. Uh, I'm going to add that one slightly shorter. Uh, just to add some depth to it. And then to your next frame, you're going to take this, and, it, and then make it longer. Add. Make it longer. Add. Next frame. Longer. Add. Slightly shorter because the other one's shorter, as remember. Add next frame. Now that they're pretty much the same pla place, we can pretty much overlay two of them. Add, add. Uh, slightly longer again. Add this one slightly shorter. Add slightly, slightly longer. And then longest. And then after that, uh, now is when things get a little bit tricky. So we're going to want to continue the beam for a couple of shots. And then we're going to want to discontinue them from the hands to make them travel away uh, a distance uh, for each shot. So you guys can see what I'm doing here. Making them fade farther away with each uh, frame that I'm advancing. So I will make I'll make that my end frame, and we'll see. That's how it looks in there. Doesn't look too bad. In fact, it's been a little while uh, since I've done this. So without much practice, that actually looked kind of good. So now we have the classic. Lightsaber, the one everybody wants to be able to uh, master for their either their brick films or something of that sort. So here I am reaching, say, into my sheath, and then say I'm pulling out, and I've got my lightsaber effect, and I'm going to shorten that up, make it fatter, because lightsabers are quite fat, not exactly skinny. And then it'll be quite short to start off with. Uh, and then add that frame, make it a bit longer, 
Oh, I didn't mean to add that. Oh well. And then the mo motion blur helps you quite a bit, so if you want some motion blur in that shot there, which often helps, you want to check your last shot and try to make it line up a little bit. So you see how it matches my motion blur with my hand? That often helps you give you that get that realistic effect you want uh, when it comes to such a... Uh, an effect you want. Like I said, to get that blur, you want to put the three dot, click the three dots, choose which one you want. Uh, I forgot to mention that that you can choose those right there as well. So I'll just add this in, and when you stop moving, you can just always switch back to your classic lightsaber. Uh, um, add it, add it to how long your motion blur was. So I feel like that's a good length there, and a good depth. I might make it a little bit shorter, and then a little bit fatter, just to match up a little bit better. So let's continue that with a, a few frames there. So, it looks like uh, you're pretty much just going to use that for a little while um, until you feel like you're, you want to get rid of that effect that you have. Uh, looks like I had that quite a while. Let's see how it looks. Let's move mine right now. We'll see how it looked like that. I'll move it away. And uh, let's see, uh, I might need to change a couple of things. You can see the display is a little bit glitchy. Uh, it, it works for um, the, 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 the price that you paid. It wasn't like insanely uh, high. So I mean, considering it's an app as well, not any fancy editing software, it, it's a really good option for your editing uh, when it comes to making films when you just need a Star Wars or a laser effect it, this is just a really easy option and a uh, place to go when you need an, a, a simple effect it does take quite a bit of patience even for a short shot shot see I'm having to go through and adding in some of these shots that I for, uh, I guess I either forgot or missed while um, while adding while adding them in See, here I forgot to, or uh, the next frame option skipped over that. So you always want to make sure that you go back and analyze each frame. And that can take out any fuzziness that you may or may not have in your film. Um, and, uh, yeah. So uh, I'm going to stop here, and because um, you guys get the idea, I have a bit more editing to do. But, uh, yeah, that's really all there is to know.